Uh, Josh Green wants to know, what's your favourite oat cake filling? I've got to be honest, I've never had an oat cake yet, but uh, the boys tell me that if you have a, a bacon and cheese, you can't really go wrong, so uh, I'll look to have one of them maybe after one of the games sometime. All right, Chris. Um, George Dawson wants to know, uh, what would you, who would you say is your role model in football? Um, probably, when I was growing up, to aspire to be a goalkeeper, it's probably Peter Schmeichel. Um, he was playing when I was... Um, when I was growing up, so it would be him, but nowadays I'd probably say um, Pepe Reina, someone like that, um, one of the uh, Premiership goalkeepers. Obviously he's just gone to Napoli now as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you enjoy any, any other sports apart from football? Um, I like playing golf, I like playing a little bit of golf, um, try, you know, a little bit of downtime, but any sport that's on TV I watch really, so um, trying to keep interests open and, and watch everything really. Okay, what's your favourite type of goalkeeping glove? Obviously there's a few. Um, to be fair, I get given Royish goalkeeping gloves, so um, I love uh, you know the grip on the ball and things like that. So that's that's my choice of, of goalkeeping gloves. But there's a lot out there on the market, really. Okay. Um, what do you do before a match? Do you have a pre-match ritual? Um, not really. No, I think there's a few lads that are, are quite superstitious, but I'm not not really that superstitious. Just can't try and get a little routine going before a game, but uh, nothing okay. nothing in particular really. Okay. Who is the least intelligent in the squad and why? Um, there's a George Leak. There could be a few of them, but I'd say Joe Davis is probably up there. Uh, just his common sense. Uh, he says some stupid things sometimes, so I'd say Joe. Okay. Aaron Williams wants to know uh, um, Was there a sense of relief, um, obviously, with the first win coming in the season against Bradford? Yeah, definitely. I think um, you want to kind of get off to a good start to the season, and we didn't do that in the first two games, but to pick up the three points at home against Bradford was, was massively important. It's kind of relaxed the lads and. Um, you can kind of tell that in training training during the week, it's been more relaxed and um, the lads are happy. So I'll hopefully kick on and, and get another three points on, on Saturday as well. OK, uh, Liam Barley wants to know, what's your best moment in football? Um, I'd probably have to say um, my debut, really, my senior debut that was for Preston. I didn't really play a lot of games there, but um, coming on as an 18-year-old um, substitute against Ipswich, who were, who were top of the league in the championship at the time live on Sky Sports as well, you couldn't really ask for a better debut, so... I suppose the adrenaline was running. Yeah, well. it was definitely, so uh, yeah, that was special. Okay, uh, Matt D wants to know, what's the best atmosphere you've played in? Um, I'd probably have to say here, actually, last year, um, when we played Burton, and obviously we beat him 7-1, I think that was one of the best atmospheres that I've played um, any game under, so uh, the fans helped us to the, to the win as well, so obviously it was a 7-1 win, so um, I think the result helped as well, but atmosphere I'd say, so the Burton game here. Okay, uh, John T. Farmer wants to know, uh, what advice would you give young goalkeepers? Um, I think you've got to work hard, you've got to work really, really hard as a young goalkeeper. Um, you need to work on your fast feet, th things like that, um, and you're handling lots of practice, lots of catching footballs and, and you can't go wrong really. Okay, uh, Isaac Mountford wants to know, uh, what was it like being Vale's player of, player's player of the year last year? Yeah, that was um, massive for me really. I, it's kind of what every player wants to aspire to is getting the recognition from all your other professionals as well. So to get that was was um, a massive achievement for me and, and obviously greatly um, achieved by the, the votes of the players as well. So OK, finally, uh, Mark Cooper wants to know, um, if you weren't a football player, what job would you do? Um, Difficult. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, really into my cooking, things like that. So I think I'd like to... Probably not be a chef, but I'd like to open up a restaurant and be a restaurateur. I think that's that's something that you maybe I'd look into in the do you future. Have a special dish that you? Not really. To be honest, I'll, I'll have a go at anything. So obviously yeah. we need to do a lot of pasta dishes and things like that to yeah. recover after training and things like that. But you've been uh, getting tips off the chef here. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit actually. When there's when there's dishes out that, that I've not seen before, I'll have a little. I'll see what goes into them. But yeah, I think I'll do that. All right, cheers, Chris.